I don't got no intro. So fuck it, this the intro. Y'all, welcome back to the channel today. We mixing it up again. Y'all know I said I'm adding variety to the channel. I'm gonna continue to do music reactions, but every every uh so often I'm gonna add into a, like a, a random video that's not music related at all. You know what I mean? So today we're gonna be checking out exploring the SCP Foundation introduction to the foundation. A couple of you guys um from my last SCP video said that this is what I should check out first. Cause like I said, I'm new to this whole thing, but I'm very interested. I'm not gonna lie. A friend of mine introduced me to it. I've been looking up this like certain SCPs, like the beautiful person and uh, the the statue I've seen the statue one and uh, the the water nymph I was supposed to react to it but I ended up watching it on my own so I'm gonna hold off I, I, there's one called shy guy that everybody talks about and they, they said I should check that one out so that's gonna be the next one that I actually check out like regarding the actual SCP but um yeah we're gonna start this off and just just get a little bit more knowledge and information about the SCP and what it is because like I said I'm new to it I don't really know too much other than what my friends told me and uh, the videos that I've seen. So look, if this is your first time watching, you want more content like this, you want me to check out a specific SCP, let me know in the comment section. And uh, if you do enjoy this, make sure you drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and uh, just share with the ladies in your life. Follow me on social media if you have that. If not, that's fine. But let's get straight to it. I'm excited. Looking forward to it. Let's get it. Secure. Contain. Oh, is that what it means? Protect. Look. I already These learned something. These three simple words comprise <clears throat> both the initials of the SCP Foundation, as well as the Foundation's steadfast motto. Okay. But what is the SCP Foundation? This video will continue under the assumption that this is the first time you have ever heard of oh, SCP. Oh, this is this is great. And are about to enter a world of the strange, shadowy, and unusual. Yeah, this is great. By the end of this video, you should have a decent grasp of the basic concepts that make up the Foundation. To begin with, the SCP Foundation and Universe are primarily associated with a single website, the SCP Wiki. Rather than having lore spread on movies, books, or video games, the website is driven by community submissions. Practically anyone can write and add to the SCP Universe, assuming their writing is up to snuff. And because of this, there no is no official, official canon. canon. Mm. Another way to look at this is that everything is canon, as okay. any submission to the lore is equally valid or invalid, depending on your perspective. Oh, so personal perspective. But there are a number of concepts that are generally accepted by the community, and that's <clears> mostly <throat> what this video will be based on. Okay, so this is dope. I'm not gonna For lie. For a simple example, the SCP Foundation is most often presented as a shadowy organization that works outside of the public awareness in order to keep things secret and safe. Okay, secret operation However, going on. If an author wishes to change this perspective and present the foundation as a very open and public group, they can do so. Whether or not such a perspective will be accepted by part of the community is a different matter. But overall, canonicity is a fluid and often debated topic within okay. the SCP community. This is dope. So, as mentioned, oh, no. the SCP Foundation the statue. is Look a well-funded and staffed organization that generally works outside of public awareness and operates with or without the approval or support of local governments. The Foundation often recruits the finest scientists, researchers, engineers, and military agents that they can find, employing them to perform stressful and generally dangerous tasks. These tasks are, of course, hell? related to the Foundation's motto that I mentioned at the start, secure, contain, and protect. Within the universe that the Foundation operates in, which is most often presented as our own universe, there are a massive number of strange, paranormal, and anomalous things. So so I just wanted to pause for a second. Based on this art, so I never even considered, um, <clears throat> so they could be like, since this is all like based on the community and with the, like the things that they want to come up with, right? So SCP can literally be anything, right? Because like I'm looking at these creatures, like what the hell? I didn't know there was like giant, giant SCP creatures. This is a dragon, bro. This is a giant dragon. I didn't think things like I thought they were like, I don't know what I thought honestly, but this is this is very uh, informative to say the least. These things, which bend or break the natural order of things as most people know it, can vary wildly in concept form, hostility, usefulness, and danger. Without getting into too many details at this point, these anomalous entities can range from immortal killing machines to a six-sided die that occasionally lands on a seven. 
Okay. Some can be used to greatly benefit the foundation, such as pills that can cure oh, any disease. Interesting. While others continually threaten both the foundation <laughs> crazy. and all life on Earth, such as massive eldritch entities for which the foundation has no idea how to contain. Each of these entities, what the fuck? or at least the ones known to the foundation. Where the hell he get this picture from? Another thing I was interested in is the 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 object class. I see right there it says Keter. Um, there, so I, based because I've seen a few of them, obviously, right? Let me know in the comment section, like how maybe 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 not. I'm not gonna hold off until the end because maybe they're gonna tell me like Foundation that much. You know what I mean? Are so given an entry maybe I'm gonna just website. wait. Hold up, that's a creepy ass picture. These entries, known as special containment procedures or SCPs, generally follow a similar format and contain information written and cataloged by researchers working for the foundation. Each SCP is given a number, and at the time of this video, there are nearly 4,000 SCPs logged in the system. Next, each SCP is there we assigned go. an object class, See? which is a somewhat broad indicator of how easily an SCP is contained, or how reliably it can be contained. Okay, how it's contained, not the danger levels. There are four main object classes used across the Foundation, although occasionally others will crop up. Safe class SCPs are those that are most easily contained, with little to no chance of a containment. So it's breach more occurring. of how safe they are, easily contained they are, rather it's important than to know how that dangerous safe they are. Can apply to SCPs that are harmless or beneficial, but also to SCPs okay. that are incredibly dangerous, but easy for the Foundation to contain. And okay, 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 okay. A key that can open any lock it touches, and a cooperative individual that can manipulate reality, are both safe SCPs. One step higher is the Euclid object class, signifying the broadest classification of SCPs, where containment is more complicated and or less reliable than safe SCPs. Okay. Many autonomous or living SCPs are classified as Euclid due to their inherent so unpredictability. unpredictability. Maybe because A they have some kind disc of... that can transport someone to an alternate dimension. A humanoid that kills all plant life around him and an orb that continually expands the interior of any building it's placed in are all Euclid class SCPs. Mm. Yeah, because how would you Ketter contain SCPs a cube that's are those that are excessively difficult to contain for one reason or another, and often are incredibly dangerous to either the Foundation or others, although that is not always the case. An immortal what reptile no that hates all life. Now you want to know something? Leave. What the fuck is this? Where did they get these pictures from? I want to talk about the reptile thing, right? So I, I haven't watched the one specifically about the reptile, but when I was watching the one about the statue, apparently they made the statue fight the reptile, right? And they said it was an immortal reptile, but apparently the statue beat the hell out of the, the reptile and the reptile is scared of it, right? That's insane. These pictures that they have are crazy. They're crazy. Because they like they're like from from like like real. You know what I mean? And I, all of all the videos I've been watching on these things have been like animated stories or whatever. So seeing them like some real pictures is kind of crazy. An immortal reptile that hates all life, a highly infectious disease that takes over its host to spread itself, and a cake that infinitely duplicates itself are all Keter class SCPs. A duplicating cake? Is that Finally, it? Like you can just eat it? Thaumiel, highly classified SCPs that stand apart from the others, generally due to their use to the foundation in locating or containing other SCPs. Among the basic object classes, Thaumiels are the rarest reserved for the most guarded secrets of the Foundation, and are generally more difficult to define than the others. Okay, Thaumios. A facility capable of rebuilding humanity after an apocalypse, and a machine capable of sending individuals into the future, Interesting. are both Thaumiel SCPs. If they go to the future, can they come back, though? After the object question, class man. is listed, the following information for each entry is generally the special containment procedures, meaning the steps and processes the Foundation goes through in order to keep the entity contained. These containment procedures, of course, vary wildly, ranging from simply putting the safest SCPs in a drawer to lengthy procedures featuring strict rules and unique restrictions to some SCPs that the Foundation that has no creepy. idea how to contain. The containment procedures are listed before the description of the SCP to emphasize the importance of containment above practically anything else, as okay. that is the fundamental purpose of the foundation. So, and an another thing. 
so they're they're more concerned on containing them so no there's never been an instance or maybe there has been and uh that's just like a specific instance but i wonder if there's been any instances where they had to like try to eliminate it right are, are, can these things be eliminated or do you or maybe they just like for the further of uh you know science and technology you know what i mean it's just like we need this this is a scientific thing that we need to study i'm not sure but like i feel like if something is like super dangerous and you can't really contain it maybe eliminate it may be better i'm not sure though i'm not sure i don't even know if that's possible you know what i mean but maybe maybe we just got to get a little deep dive a little deeper into this some scps are kept in the same location where they were found isolated and quarantined due to certain circumstances and others such as exceptionally cooperative humanoids might be allowed to freely I also want to know how they interact with each other time to time. like other scps could be interesting due to the unique nature of each individual scp each containment procedure is also unique and there is no standard set of SCP rules. must have a lot of money are those Following eggs? the containment procedures is generally the description of the scp this description is usually written with a very technical and scientific tone describing the appearance and anomalous nature of the scp Again, this description section varies wildly, ranging from a few concise sentences to many paragraphs okay. of detailed information. In addition to the description, the many SCP entries will also include information such as where and how the SCP was first located, testing logs, exploratory logs for SCP locations. So on the website, is that, is that what he's saying? Like on the website where people actually create these and, and like put them into like... Um the the what scp wiki they're all that's the format is that that's he's telling us right they're like scientific like documents or whatever that kind of tells all these informations like where it was located testing logs this could be interesting bro because the first thing that i'm thinking of i don't know if any of you have ever played outlast but like they're like a bunch of like medical scientific like research papers and they're all over and i'm just thinking of that as like examples or whatever it's crazy reviews and that monster is crazy ain't got no port. legs but he flies. SCPs are often found by members of the general public, causing the Foundation to come in and contain the anomaly and also wipe the memories, the memories of witnesses. Interesting. Sometimes only one or two agents of the Foundation might be called in to retrieve an anomaly, but often a whole team of highly okay. trained individuals will be necessary. I guess that depends on how dangerous, right? These teams, known or as easily Task contained. Forces, or MTFs, consist of ex-military or other trained combatants that are often sent in with minimal information about the anomaly, and are thus forced to be prepared for anything. Some MTFs will be assigned to constantly watch over certain SCPs in case of containment breach. Once the SCP is secured and contained, researchers assigned to the project- Another question, I know, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go back just a little bit, just so I can, um, I think we said they were MTF, right? How are you selected for this? Did they mention this earlier? Is this when they were saying like military and all of that? People, because I'm like, this is like top secret information. I feel like they would thoroughly have to like check on your like your background, make sure you are someone that can be trusted. So I think they may have mentioned this earlier. Maybe that's my fault for like, I, I might have forgot this far. Instantly watch. But um, just, just remind SCP me in the comment section. In case of containment breach. I'm assuming they're like oh, ex military or. Once the SCP is maybe current and contained, secret researchers of, assigned to the project will often carry out a number of tests and attempt to gather as much data as they can. Of course, for many SCPs, this is more dangerous than it is worth, so testing is generally limited. Although there are rare occasions where the Foundation will seek to destroy an SCP rather than contain it. There we go. This is not their primary directive, and the idea is generally That's a because they want to learn about it. One of the primary ways that researchers test and interact with SCPs is through the use of D-class personnel. D-class personnel. Now, I think those are like prisoners or something, individuals right? D-class are used throughout the entire foundation and are personnel that have been deemed, deemed expendable. expendable. D-class are generally taken from prisons across the so world. So on the statue one, they send in prisoners and like they got destroyed, right? But they were like, again, it's, I'm always watching like the animated things. So they were in like prison outfits or whatever. So I just assumed they were prisoners. There was no guaranteed or, or definite answer that they were but they were d-class i just like damn they got some prisoners in here that they wasn't named but um that's interesting so people they deem expandable probably like mass murderers and like you know what i mean get them out of here we're gonna use them for generally taken education prisons across the world usually convicts guilty of violent crimes yeah but the foundation goes through a large number of d-class 
and will sometimes take them from other sources. Like what? For particularly negligent or heinous behavior, some foundation employees might be demoted. Really? So if you work there, you can become D-class. Experiments. Oh, that's the story right here. Related to SCP statue, right? Serve as first explorers for some unknown locations, or forced to carry out any activity that the foundation would rather not risk the minds or bodies of its employees on. On the other end of the spectrum is the O5 Council. Now I've heard of them, but I don't know anything about them. O5 them. Council is shrouded name. in mystery, believed to consist of 13 members, and they oversee the entire foundation with access to practically Interesting. all Interesting. Secret Council Many inside a secret spread about organization. The including the rumor that they use their unlimited access to SCPs to maintain immortality. Immortality. Spicy. Below the O5s, but still with a large amount of responsibility, are the site directors. Okay. The Foundation operates a large number of facilities around the world, primarily functioning as prisons for SCPs, and each one is overseen by a site director. Oh, a single site director at each These location? These facilities vary in size, with some just built around one or really? two SCPs, and others housing yeah, hundreds this is crazy. of anomalous items. Imagine being in control there of the one with a million, like thousands of the SCPs in there. Have taken an interest in anomalous objects. These groups of interest range from the mischievous to occasionally cooperative, and the openly antagonistic. The Chaos Insurgency is a splinter group of the Foundation that attempt to obtain as many SCPs as okay. possible. Okay. The Church of the Broken God is a religious organization seeking to resurrect a shattered deity. Oh, wow. So people are trying the to use... The Global Occult Coalition is a counter-organization... Use SCPs the for their own goals and... Dedicated uh, to destroying SCPs and backed by the United Nations. Interesting. So everybody got their there own agendas. There are other organizations out there, with some of them responsible for creating SCPs themselves. Really? Creating them? The Foundation has worked with some of them on occasion and continually battles many others. But each organization continues to operate largely in secrecy. interesting so scp not even only like that's a basic one. summary of the scp foundation, yeah, the foundation and the universe rather. it exists in at this point if you had never heard of scp before this you should be fully prepared to access the website and begin discovering all the different scps known to the foundation while there are many arguments about the best place to start reading each scp entry is generally meant to stand on its own okay in addition to each of the scp entries there are also a great number of tales on the site, which feature much less technical writing and provide unique perspectives on different SCPs or aspects of the SCP universe. The SCP Foundation and the thousands of entries appeal to many people for many different reasons. That shit is interesting, that's why. Primarily, the SCP universe is strange, unusual, that too is very different. and unique. Damn, that's it. I, I got one question, um... Remember this, the foundation is not evil. We do not torture people just because. We are against unnecessary cruelty, which means somebody has to decide when cruelty is necessary. Mm. And as somebody is us, the foundation protects humanity from SCPs, and we protect the foundation from itself. We judge what is and is not acceptable for the, for the foundation to do. We balance evil so that on, the, that on the whole and in the long run, evil is minimized. Ethics Committee Orientation. Mm. One thing I'm curious about, right? Since anybody can go on the website and change or edit or just create SCPs, right? What do they do with the overlapping numbers? Like he said, there's up to like four thousand. I'm sure there's plenty more, but like, what if some have? What if someone makes a new one and gives it the same number? Again, I feel like that would that might tie into the whole thing of like what's canon to you? Because if you got two with the same numbers, maybe like um, maybe um, like whichever one you choose to be canon or maybe there's ones that the, the community itself just deems is like the canon one like it's most widely accepted by the community but again i feel like he says he said something about his perspective too right so it's whatever you want i guess it's very interesting i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'm very interested let me know in the comment section which scp we should do i'm, I'm gonna do shy guy next time i record one um but let me know. Let me know what your favorite SCP is. Maybe there's, there's like a video because I'm going to be checking out Dr. Bob and um, I think his name was what? The Rubber. And I, I think there was another another person that would like the animated ones because I just think they're more entertaining. And like for me as a reactor, I feel like it'd be dope to react to those. But um, I will be reading some on my own too.
I will be reading some on my own. Not if they got pictures like the old dude up that was in the corner, though. I can't do that at nighttime, man. I can't do that. Real pictures, man. That might be in my, you know what I'm saying? Peeking through my window. I can't do that. But um, yeah, this was dope. I appreciate y'all for the suggestions. I learned a lot. And uh, I'm excited, man. I want to learn some more. So in the comment section, like I said, let me know what SCP edited to check out. If you enjoyed it, like, share, subscribe. And uh, man, I'm going to catch you on the next video. Y'all have a great day. Peace out.